G'day folks, this morning I'm going trout fishing in one of my favourite little streams and I'm going to be using yabbies for bait but not just any old yabbies, big yabbies Hey you! You're watching Robbie Fishing I can't say I've ever been fishing for trout with yabbies before but I have found yabbies in the trout's stomach contents when I've gutted them open so obviously they eat them they do exist in these waterways while it's getting late in the season and the water's a bit cold but just because the water's cold it doesn't mean the yabbies aren't there it just means they're not biting, they're probably hiding under rocks I like to drift worms this time of the year but we've had a dry autumn, we haven't had a lot of rain I don't know whether worms would be any good so I've decided to try something different I'm going to try drifting yabbies. Now, obviously, unless I'm targeting trout about 7 or 8 pound, that's probably way too big a yabby to use for bait. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to euthanize these yabbies. They're very docile now. They've been in an esky on the way up here with ice, and the water's really cold, so they're a bit slow. But I'm going to euthanize them now, put them to sleep, and then I'm just going to take their tails off. And then I'm just going to use sections of their tails. So if all goes to plan, I should have around about a dozen baits there to, that I can use. Anyway, let's go and drift some segmented yabby tails through some pools and see if we can find a hungry trout. Right, I've got my three yabby tails. I'm going to now put them in this Ziploc bag. I want to try and keep them a little bit damp. It's not a hot morning, so things shouldn't dry out. I'll just put a little bit of water in there with them. Tip that out. There's my bait. Now I'll walk downstream and start fishing my way back up. When I get down there, I'll start uh, cutting them up and using them for bait. Right, there's the creek down there, and it's looking quite good. I might just stop here where this tree goes over this bit of an animal trail and uh, prepare my first yabby tail bait. That'll do. Just like that, a bit of shell and a bit of meat. I'll put that on first and see how it goes. I reckon this is going to work, you know. I don't know how I'm going to go casting. I'm starting off totally unweighted. I'll try and get a bit of shell on there as well if I can. There we go. I'm starting off totally unweighted. Just to try and keep the bait as natural as possible. Although if I need to add a bit of weight to make it easier to cast or whatever, I can... Um, I can clamp a split shot or crimp a split shot under my line oh, there's a trout just there and I've spooked me first one I don't normally fish downstream if I can avoid it but I'm gonna it's a bit different with bait check this out because I'm walking down onto that pool I'm gonna try and fish it from way back here if I can Oh, there's a fish there. There's a fish there then. There's a fish just there near my bait. Has he got that? No. He followed it down. Well, folks, sometimes you've got to concede defeat. I've fished a, uh, a couple of hundred metres, I suppose. I've seen a few fish. A couple of them have looked at it, but not one of them has shown any interest in eating this yabby. Whether they're not on the bite, whether their yabbies aren't natural enough, I don't know. So I'm going to switch and change to a minnow. Thankfully I brought a tackle box with me with my lures in it. So I'm going to change to a little minnow. Yabby tail, go in there and get eaten. Now as much as I really wanted the yabby tails to work, because I reckon it would have made a pretty cool video, it just didn't work. So I'm going to switch to a minnow. This is a pontoon 21 tantalizer. And there was one just in here chasing, well not chasing, but just following my uh following my yabby tail let's see if he'll have a go at me me minnow he's over the other side there i see him coming out there then he was over he went over that way nice cast of it oh there's something there. look at the swirls he's coming after it twitch it pause it twitch it oh oh look at him he's looking at it he doesn't want it there <laughs> he doesn't want it there, but he won't hit it. It's been a sand bit. Deer wallowing here, look at that. Wallowing in the mud. Oh, 
Oh, oh look, he wants it. He, whoa, that was the closest I've come to a fish today. Where did he go? Pull the hook fair out of its mouth. I saw him come and grab it. Now it's tangled. This is the problem with minnows. I doubt very much whether that fish will come back for another go, but you never know. He certainly wanted it. He went after it. He did come back, and I got him. Ha <laughs> ha! Finally! A nice fish too. It's taken me quite a while. It's taken me a long time. I started off using yabbies. I've had a few follows. Now I've finally caught a fish. I'm going to get a photo of it. It might be the only one I catch. Some days they don't come easy. I started off using yabby tails for a while. I fished a couple hundred metres, had a few fish follow it and look at it, but none of them even tried to bite it. So I changed to the Pontoon 21 Tantalizer Minnow. I've had a few fish sort of escorted out. That was the only one that's actually shown any real interest in the fish. Anyway, I'm on the board. What fish that big open? Oh, something there. Just a bit of sound. What fish that big open area from well back here? For that very reason, in case there's something sitting there, I don't just want to walk up and spook it. Oh, there goes one. Not interested, not interested at all in my lure, that fish. Well, the yabbies were unsuccessful. The whole trip was almost unsuccessful. I was saved by one fish. Short and sweet video this one. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching.